Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just have a very, very quick project share. Um, this is going to Thelma Hall here on YouTube. She was my second winner to the Halloween challenge giveaway that I was hosting. And I'm only getting this to her now because uh, the challenge was supposed to be for like an electronic gift card or, you know, a PayPal credit because I work from home. I'm not out very often. But she wanted a physical gift card, which I, of course, had no problem getting. But um, when I went to get it and I brought it home, I lost it. <laughs> it was somewhere in my house. And then, of course, it took me a while to find it again. And then I felt really bad that it was so late. So I decided to make something to make it up. So, Thelma, if you are watching, I am so sorry that this has taken so long to get to you. So anyway, I decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of work around the gift card that I'm gifting her. So I decided to go with my mug gift card holder. I got this die from AliExpress. Last time I checked, this was sold out. I will check again. If it's available, I will link it down below. So I cut it out of this kind of polka dot paper. I did spray it with my gold mica mist that I recently got. And it just gives it that nice different texture. I cut out the liquid out of this light brown paper. For my fellow Canadians, that's a double-double. <laughs> um, I used a hot pink doily I had in my stash, and I think that's by Doodlebug. I used the paper tassel garland I recently got from Daiso Japan. I also layered some of the butterflies that I got from Michaels, used some jemmies for their heads. And then I have the saying that says a gift for you, which was perfect for this. This was from the Memory Explosion Box collection that I recently hauled from Michaels. The clear stickers are from Daiso Japan and the tiny little bow, like polymer clay bows are from AliExpress. And I stitched around the side with some pink thread. And then here is the inside. So this is the gift card. <laughs> And I just used a puffy, foamy, glittery sticker that I got from Hobby Lobby. And this is where I'm going to be writing my message to her. And then this is actually going to be housed in this, which is a die from KS Craft. I am telling you, I love KS Craft dies. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but I absolutely love them. The way they cut, the way they come together they're just absolutely beautiful so this is the envelope die I believe it holds a two sized card but I just cut it out of this pink paper and the paper that I used to layer was from Michaels it's the Bloom Fetty collection or the Bloom Fetty paper pad that I recently hauled I stitched around this with pink thread as well and then for the cluster I layered on some of those flower picks that I got from Michaels the gold flower stickers are from Dollar Tree, a couple of chipboard stickers. This pearl heart is from AliExpress. The Happy Day banner is also part of the Memory Explosion Box collection from Michaels. have a few sequin clusters here, a felt star from AliExpress. I used that hot pink mesh tubing I got from Dollarama during Easter, made that into a bow. I love this stuff, it's so cool. And then here is a new die that I have. It's the Tim Holtz Tattered Butterfly die. And I got this on scrapbooking.ca. It is a Canadian scrapbooking site, you guys. You have to go check it out because it's, the prices are better. The shipping is not as expensive. And you know, some, some scrapbooking places won't even ship to Canada. So this place I believe is, located in Alberta, but I will double check, but I will link the link down below to their website. So I use some jemmies in the middle and then I just cut it out of gold glitter paper and vellum just to give it a little bit of texture like this. I love this fluttery thing. <laughs> Underneath it all, I ruffled some more of that iridescent trim that I've used quite a bit recently and I got that from AliExpress. Have some sequin clusters, and then these are the holographic hearts I recently hauled from AliExpress. I knew they would be perfect uh, as embellishments. They're so pretty, they're super shiny. The bow is from, 
a digital collection. It's the Hey Santa collection by Crate Paper and the inside was blue so I just used some of my Nouveau drops to make it pink and put a crystal heart in the center. So that would be holding my gift card holder like so. And then here I have a gold eyelet and then I just wire wrap some beads, this yellow star bead and then I have some of these clay flower beads and then I have a bee charm. And I love bees for spring projects, they're like the perfect accent. Okay, so next just to include with it as a gift, I made some tassels. I have mentioned that I'm loving making tassels recently, so I made these three pastel colored tassels using some yarn I found at Dollar Tree and Your Dollar Store with More. And I had these clear boxes in my stash I got from AliExpress. And then I just backed it with some of this paper I got from Dollarama. The tassels are staying put because I used some brads and they're They've been kind of punched through the paper like that, and so that way they'll stay put. Um, I used another one of those paper banners I got from Daiso Japan. And then on the top, I just kind of went nuts with the clustering. I have some flowers. I have some more of those gold flower stickers I got from Dollar Tree. I used the polka dot ribbon that I recently got from Michaels, made that into a bow. This heart bead is one I got from AliExpress. There's a couple of heart felt hearts down here that I got from Dollarama and then I just have another butterfly here this one is from my stash and this one I got from AliExpress and I absolutely love the way these turned out so that was my quick project share thank you so much for watching again Thelma I'm so sorry this took so long but I hope that you like it and everyone as usual please stay safe please stay healthy and until my next video have an awesome day talk to you soon bye for now